I'm going to do is I'm going to take about three of them and see how the pointy part is. I'm going to turn one this way and turn the other this way. And then I'm going to set that down. And then do three more. Turn one this way and one the other way. And I'm going to take the extra strong formula Elmer's glue and put it in the middle of the three here. And then I'm going to glue these together. And hold that down for a little while. So I got a little Kurt discouraged yesterday about doing this YouTube thing. I've, I've seen other um, people like myself do it and I thought, well, if she can do it or if he could do it, I could do it. But then I saw that it's not really that easy. So discovered I had a hard time looking at the camera and talking to a camera. I felt very uncomfortable. But my oldest daughter said, Mom, you know, it's just a friend of hers said, you know, it's like talking to your friend. So this is about reaching out. I can't um, see my children or grandchildren or parents right now and friends. But this is a way that I can reach out the outside world. Not everybody is always available to you whenever you're available to like do FaceTime, which um, not all of my children will answer a FaceTime call. But my oldest daughter, she does every time. And thank you, Jen, for doing that. It really saves the day. I get to visit with my grandchildren, my daughter, and it's very interesting a window to see what it is that they're doing and you just feel like you're part of their lives. They're your family, my extended family, and it's good to be a part of them. They're very precious to me. Okay. So now that I have this, it kind of looks like a, a starburst of some sort. What we're going to do is we're going to take the two. Remember I told you I make the little tips. I don't know if you can see that or not. But we're going to put the, the end of the tube and the tip. We're going to kind of put it inside the tube like this. But what I like to do Let's take the glue and put it inside the tube. Just like so. Let's 
see that, Heather? We're gonna do this. Just like that. Okay. okay. So what I'm gonna do is put it somewhat like this. And turn it. Like this, not like this. Not quite where you had glued it, but a little off. Okay. And then you're going to put it here. Then you're going to kind of have one up and go under and the other up. This one we're gonna have go over. This one under. You might wanna give it some time to glue a little. Let it bond so it will stay up and over. See that? Up. Place where I can relax with my husband and my pets and occasionally have family and friends over but I do for the most part like to be by myself maybe not so much when I was younger but now that I'm older I, I like being by myself so that's how you begin it Over. This is under. Over. Under. And over. So I got my paint. I don't want to touch it up. some of the color blends that I had done from some of the things that I had left over, the tubes I had left over from other projects. And then I had painted some more of these tubes and then when you saw how short it was earlier, I had put them in here, glued them in here to make them longer and then continued weaving. over a tube and behind a tube, just like so, and then just repeat.
tube behind a tube. Those are this. I gotta go over, but there's nothing to go under. So where the first one is, I'm gonna kind of pull it up. I'm gonna go underneath it and then pull it through like this. And then I need something to go over, so I'm going to go over, pull this back, you can rewind this, stop it, over and over, that's what I do when I try to learn things, over, and then we need to go under, so I'm going to go here, like this, pull this through. <laughs> I don't know. And that's what that looks like. So what I'm going to do is go around it and tighten it up. Like so. I've woven all of it to where it's on the inside. Now, what I do is I clip all this. Just so. So here we are. Yeah.